you. <laughs> Hello. Hello, everyone. I hope you are all doing fine. Yeah. I'm very happy to be here today. Thanks for having me. The piece I've just played for you is called EXA. That's in all caps. And like all my pieces, its title is a combination of three letters. They have a deeper sense for me personally, but to explain the whole reason behind this to all of you, we'd need a lot more time and possibly a little more red wine or something. It's, it's a long story. It's 2 p.m. in the afternoon on a beautiful day. I don't know if we should do that. To, to make a long story short, EXA and its fellow musical brethren are parts of an idea of modular composing, which I created to communicate. Mostly with myself, kind of an inner dialogue, so to say, that you then witness or possibly influence as an audience. When Timo from the TEDx crew asked me to present my approach to composing to all of you under the topic, the art of progress, I was really excited because after all, like many creative processes, creating a musical vocabulary and own a personal musical vocabulary is something you cannot really complete. It stays a work in progress. Music or art in general is always a form of communication in some way. And of course, paintings and songs and all that inspire interpretations in everyone through their color, their mood, their title, or whatever, and provoke reactions, ideally. But that's been said, I think this is not a sufficient mode of communicating. There's no level playing field, there's no friction. The conversation just happens in one direction. It's like hearing a lecture, then being engaged in a conversation. One partner is prepared while the other cannot be part or possibly influence the discourse in any way. It's a little bit like talking to my father, but we will not go down that road now. This, not without red wine. <laughs> to conclude, why should hold a discourse when all statements are already pre-made? Why you should have a discussion when you know what the outcome will be. Over the years, I created a lot of modules, the musical equivalent of a word. It might consist of melody parts, of chords, motives, And I can put together these words to form phrases or a whole musical piece. But it does not end there, though. Like as in a spoken language, I can change the pitch the intonation, the eloquence, the density, the intervals, the range to evoke or respond to feelings or react to the context in which I'm speaking.
was it was all of this that was all of <laughs> this piece came to me when i was 14 years old and has been changing and growing ever since like all my pieces the first piece i played today exa came around about 10 years later in my life, but shows a lot more juvenile restlessness. So the pieces don't necessarily reflect the state of my conscious at the time I conceived them, but more the longings and memories that resided in my mind. And they continue to grow and change and develop a character on their own with every experience I make, like independent beings. So, what happens when we let these two have a discussion? Well, it depends. No two situations are the same and the context heavily influences the context. The context heavily influences the conversation of the two pieces. They will express themselves differently in a small basement with low ceilings, in a big concert hall like the Elf Philharmonie or on a rooftop in Russia while it's raining, um, whether it's day or night, winter or summer, whether I am or you are in a good or bad mood, whether I have possibly all the time I can possibly need, or just 18 minutes in the afternoon <laughs> in front of a bunch of open-minded people like you and still no red wine. <laughs> this is yeah. Let's take one small step back. Now we have our two modular compositions with all their open variables that I will let interact with each other, with all their components or words. The resulting improvisation, I try not to control too much what I'm doing, or I try not to exert too much about what I'm doing. I try not think about what comes next. <laughs> Difficult thing, but I try to let them do the talking with depending on all the things we established earlier. Like so. jokes aside though, there's a real possibility that Olf and Exa will not just play together nicely today. It's a little bit like focusing your thoughts in a shower on the drizzling of water instead of thinking about the to-do list for the day. I try to focus on the flow of the moment instead of what I think has to come next. It might result in something extraordinary or in complete failure. <laughs> it depends. And this, this uncertainty, this uncertainty creates a lot of the energy. But there's no way to tell more than just listen.
Thank you. Thank you very much.